get ready, speeding sedans, clueless cops, and some of the dumbest drivers you've ever seen are all coming up in this episode of Wham Bam Dash Cam. Tyler had parked his car outside his workplace and behind cars belonging to his co-workers. Suddenly, he heard a loud crunch. Without warning, a tree branch had snapped off and landed directly on the vehicles belonging to two of Tyler's co-workers before splintering. Both vehicles were totaled, but thankfully there were no injuries. By the way, when a car is considered totaled, that doesn't mean it's undrivable, unfixable, or worthless. It just means the insurance company would rather cut the owner a check than pay to fix the damage. Since the tree was on company property, Tyler's employer paid to replace both vehicles. Emilio was waiting to turn left at an intersection she told us has been under construction forever. Watch what happened when another driver entered the intersection way too fast and tried to turn right. Emilia's airbags deployed and the lady driving the Honda Civic called 911 while Emilia was still in shock. First responders arrived quickly thanks in part to the fact that a hospital is right next to this intersection. Both the Civic and Emilia's VW Beetle were totaled and had to be towed away. The Beetle had also been pushed backward into a van, but it only sustained a small scratch on the front bumper cover. Amelia told us that having a dash cam has saved her a lot of time. She also said, shout out to all people who don't have a dash cam. Get one as soon as you can. It saved my butt and can save yours. This submitter was driving down Pennsylvania Avenue when the driver of an SUV suddenly pulled out in front of him. Our submitter stood on the brake pedal, but he told us he's stunned that he didn't smash into the other car. He also said the other driver was either oblivious or really wanted to be featured on Wham Bam Dash Cam. Wayne was headed home when he watched a car hauler on the opposite side of the highway lose control and collide with the median barrier. Thankfully, the barrier held and none of the vehicles on the truck's trailer came free and got launched across the highway. Wayne shudders to think about what might have happened if the same accident had happened less than a mile earlier where there's no concrete barrier. Bill was waiting at a red light when he watched a taxi driver roll right through it. Wow. Unfortunately for him, a Jacksonville police officer had just pulled up in the right turn lane. When he saw the taxi driver's illegal maneuver, he chased him down to deliver some instant justice. Sometimes the cops are the ones who need to be reprimanded. This submitter was driving home when a police car in a right turn lane suddenly reversed to get into the far left lane, almost clipping our submitter's car. Thankfully, our submitter was able to avoid a collision. They contacted the local police station with the footage and were told the officer would be spoken to about it. Lloyd was on his way to pick up a friend. When he checked his side view mirrors, he was shocked to see a car flying up on his left that then swerved into him almost as if it was done intentionally. Lloyd's Impala was sent spinning down the highway while he wrestled the steering wheel for control. Eventually, he was able to get the car pointed the right direction and stopped on the shoulder. In the chaos, Lloyd accidentally stopped his dash cam from recording, so the clip ends before we get to see the other driver speed off down the highway. Unfortunately, they still haven't been found. Miguel was driving on a Saturday afternoon when he watched another driver turn left into the wrong lanes and end up facing the wrong way in a turn lane. After he honked at her, he watched her make a U-turn and end up behind him. Okay then. Aziz was headed to his final college exam after getting some coffee. Aziz told us the Toyota pulling in front of him terrified him to death. Thankfully, he was able to avoid any collision. Daniel and his family watched the driver of a pickup truck in a left turn lane make an illegal U-turn, crossing paths with a minivan in the other left turn lane. Whoa. 
The pickup ended up going over a curb and flattening a sign after the impact. Thankfully, some nearby construction workers ran over to help. Brian was hauling 40,000 pounds of cargo and was cruising at the speed limit when he watched an SUV start to turn out in front of him. There was also a car in the left lane next to Brian's Freightliner, so he had to carefully swerve around the SUV as it began to pull back onto the road. The SUV then turned into a parking lot like nothing had happened. Remember Cole who ran into a pickup that pulled in front of him on a dark road back on episode 33? He was driving through snow at 25 to 30 miles per hour when another pickup driver pulled out in front of him. Whoa! Cole narrowly avoided hitting the pickup and told us he was shaking like a chihuahua after pulling over. He also said this is the worst snow season they've had since the 50s. And sometimes you can't see traffic over the berms. MJ was waiting at an intersection when he watched another driver change his mind about making a U-turn and decide to go straight instead. Unfortunately, another driver was turning and collided with the side of the silver Ford. MJ told us that when the police arrived, they found the driver of the Ford at fault for making an improper lane change. This emitter was on his way to school on a windy day when a sudden gust knocked a string trimmer out of the trailer he was following down the highway. The Mint Miata's manipulator made a marvelous maneuver and managed to maintain its matchless magnificence. This emitter watched the driver of a tanker truck suddenly swerve to avoid hitting a turning minivan. Our submitter thinks the trucker wasn't paying attention. What do you think? Marco had just left work when another driver merged into his lane after he'd sped up to pass them. Marco tried to avoid a collision, but when his front wheels hit the curb, it pushed him into the other car anyway. Thankfully, nobody was injured. This emitter was in line at a stop sign behind a truck pulling a trailer and an SUV that had been aggressively following the truck. Watch what the SUV driver did after getting impatient. The driver of the Honda Pilot invented a new lane and drove around the pickup, then sped through the stop sign, nearly causing a collision with opposing traffic. The Honda then sped off like nothing had happened. Gaspar was waiting in a left turn lane when a driver from the right turned too tightly and nearly ran directly into his VW Jetta. Gaspar honked and the driver slammed on her brakes before turning and going around him. Gaspar just continued on his way to work. Ziggy was driving down London Road when an oncoming driver collided directly into parked cars. Thankfully, Ziggy wasn't involved in the collision, which totaled a red Audi. Okay, one more submission from Mint Miata. He was waiting at a red light when a man carrying his son crossed the street in front of him, and he took the opportunity to wave with his car's pop-up headlights. The little boy noticed and waved back in response. Awesome! A couple of weeks ago, we ended an episode abruptly, and that made some people pretty upset. We just wanted to take a moment to apologize for doing that.